Heating up, and not just the temperatures, but the travel. What you need to know to plan ahead. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and right here on WJZ. Well, you're probably making plans for a trip or two this summer. And if you are flying, you may already know that last minute changes to your plans are a big concern. I mean, for the second day in a row now, we are seeing hundreds of flight cancellations. And the question is, could it get even worse now? Well, we're here to help you out. Avajoy Burnett, live at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport tonight. So, Avajoy, what is the transportation secretary saying about these issues? Because there are a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them and a lot of concerns, as you guys mentioned. The transportation secretary, Pete Buttigieg, met with the CEOs of the airlines to get assurances that they will be able to handle what's expected to be a very busy summer travel season. And we want to run some of those numbers by you. According to Flight Aware, about 1,700 flights were canceled yesterday on Thursday, and then another 1,000 were canceled before lunchtime today across the country. Now, many of these cancellations recently were attributed to weather problems. We were covering some of those weather issues up and down the eastern seaboard yesterday. But we also saw this happening for Memorial Day weekend. And now there are concerns this could also happen for the 4th of July holiday and then extending into the summertime. So there are a lot of issues here with weather, with staffing. Today, we saw Father walk into the airport, walked up to the counter, and then I saw him leaving. I was kind of eavesdropping a little bit, ran out, spoke with him. He told us that when he went up to the counter, he looked down on his phone, and that's when he realized things were canceled. Here's a little bit more about what he had to say. They canceled two to North Carolina or to Charlotte on American, and then they just delayed the last one I was supposed to be on. And if I got on that one, I'd be stuck in Charlotte because there's no flight to Myrtle Beach. So, are you patient, frustrated? What's your emotion? I got a lot going on. I got to get home. My son's got a surgery next week, so um, trying to get home, frustrated, uh, but we'll get there. So expect more crowded skies, at least in terms of the people on your plane, fewer flights and higher fares. Not a lot of good news to report. And the bad news kind of continues. We're sitting right now next to some folks who came here early this morning to BWI. They have a birthday celebration in Miami, but because the lines were too long, they missed their flight. It's a party of three. They already have people there waiting for them in Miami, but only one person was able to rebook their flight. So TSA is reminding people to show up two hours early for domestic flights, three hours for the international flights, and one more thing. If you have weapons, just make sure that you're checking those instead of trying to bring them onto the plane. We're going to have much more for you coming up on WJZ at 7. Live tonight at BWI, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.